This is such an easy does it technique. You're going to love it. You can create a print by just simply using foam core and craft foam. It is so super simple. I'm making my own stamp today and all you have to do is just go to the internet, get some clip art, and you can come up with all kinds of wonderful different designs designed for what your cause is, what you love, and it's just so simple. Craft foam comes in all different colors, all different shapes, sizes, so you can actually use any color to use your to make for your print. So I got my pattern off the internet just off a of clip art place it down and just simply trace it out with a pencil. And then you just cut it out with scissors. And I want to show you a little trick when you cut craft foam. You don't want to just snip, snip, snip because then you're not going to get a really nice smooth edge. Start at your top of like your wheel, go to the back of your scissors and then cut all the way. And if you have your scissors stand still and you move your project, it gives you a much better edge. Again, back of scissors all the way around. That's a Heidi tip. Now for the inside edge, just simply take a craft knife and just cut out all the extra whatever you can't cut with the scissors. You can also just cut in you know like this and take your scissors and go in and cut around. So cut your pattern out completely until it's like this. Cut a piece of foam core that it's going to fit on and notice how I have my tacky glue ready to come out of the container. If you put it in a jar, it's easy to, to come out. Now you also have to determine at this point which way you want your um, design to face because when you go to print it, it's going to be the opposite way. And just simply put your glue on all the way around. Make sure you get all the edges, all the little pieces. Now, if you have a little point here where it doesn't have glue, it's not going to stick, and the more you use the, the print, that'll come up. So make sure you get your glue everywhere. Put it back into your container so that it's ready to use the next time. We're going to turn it over and place it on. Let that completely dry, and I would say until it doesn't move. And so I'm going to set that aside, and here's the one that I've been using. And I've got a piece of denim here. And next thing we're going to do is get some paint out here. I'm using some fabric paint. Now also, when you use any color on a darker surface, it's not going to come out quite as bright. As you notice with my between my bag and my t-shirt, the, um, I use the kind of the same color blue, but um, it doesn't come out quite as um, bright. So you don't want to use really dark colors because they're not going to come out on your denim, but they definitely will come out on your um, t-shirts. So I go around and just really put the, you have to, when you have a large print like this, you have to make sure that you have the paint on because it will dry. So get a lot of paint on and then you can go and finish it get it on better. Just get it on there first. Also on your first time that you use your print you want to make sure that you do it on a piece of paper before you go into the fabric. It kind of conditions when you you paint it once and do it on paper and then your next print will be, your prints after that will be perfect. So see how I'm just blending that in. Kind of go fast. Make sure that it's all on and then what you want to make sure is you don't have any in the little grooves because those will print. Let's see, is everything covered? Whoops, right there. Smooth it out. And we are ready to print. 
line it up and push it down. And notice here too that I push, I put a mark on my the back of mine, the top of my print, and the side, so I know as I, if I was going to line up several of them, I'd know how to um, space them. Ta-da! Isn't that cool? So easy to do. And then be sure that you clean your um, craft foam off so you can use it again. And I've already used this particular one about five times. So if you clean it off, you can use it over and over again. By the way, my tote is upcycled from a pair of jeans. I'm Heidi Borchers and I think it's cool to craft.